What if I told you that in 1947, a movie was made that was so mysterious that it wreaked havoc with the subconscious mind of all who dared to see it? What if I were to further tell you that anyone who sees this movie will later state that it has stayed with them their entire lives? The movie is Black Narcissus. This movie about mysterious nuns in search of a convent is downright creepy. And even though it was made back in the day in 1947, its mysterious and disturbing themes seem to transcend time and space. Black Narcissus is a 1947 British psychological drama film written, produced, and directed by Michael Powell and Emmerich Pressburge. Based on the 1939 novel by Rumor Gone, the film revolves around the growing tensions within a small convent of Anglican sisters who are trying to establish a school and hospital in the old palace of an Indian Raja at the top of an isolated mountain above a fertile valley in the Himalayas. The palace has ancient Indian erotic paintings on its walls and is run by the agent of the Indian general who owns it, a handsome middle-aged Englishman who is a source of attraction for the sisters. The story revolves around the ambitious sister Clodagh, who is appointed sister superior and is sent with four other nuns to the dilapidated palace situated on a high cliff. One of the nuns is Sister Ruth, who is brought there to try to heal her of her emotionally unstable nature, as the palace was previously used as a holding place for sexual concubines. I must make you see before it is too late. All the same, I've noticed you're very pleased to see him yourself. The palace has sexually erotic paintings on its walls and mysterious images throughout. Each convent member begins experiencing ill health and emotional problems caused by their surroundings. Ruth, already highly strung, becomes increasingly jealous of Cloda and obsessed with Mr. Dean, leading her to renounce the order. Do you notice a change in us since we came here? I notice a change in you. I told you it was no place to put a nunnery. It's something in the atmosphere that makes everything seem exaggerated. As time goes on, the nuns begin to become unhinged. The conflict between trying to uphold their faith against their natural sexual desire takes its toll on Sister Ruth and Clodagh. Sorry for. Sister Philippa is going back in a few days' time. I want to send you with her. That's what you would like to do. Send me back and shut me up. That's what you would all like to do. The film received high critical praise for its use of mysterious and eerie cinematography. The Manchester Guardian described the film as possessing good acting and skillfully built-up atmosphere. Philip Scheuer of the Los Angeles Times gave the film high praise, deeming it an exquisite cinematic jewel. As the film continues, Sister Ruth totally goes over the edge and loses her mind releasing her jealous rage on Sister Clodagh. The remastered edition of this film is so masterfully done, it's hard to believe it was made in 1947. You literally can see the pores on the actor's skin. The film is crystal clear. Black Narcissus is one of the few films that captures the suspense and mystery of the ultimate battle between good and evil, and like so many things in life, the battle is not with others, but what lies within. See you on the next one.